gentlemen, this is Chase from Country Folk Superstore coming at you with another wonderful gun review. Today we're going to review the Taurus TH9. Uh, this gun is manufactured in Brazil, uh, imported through Miami. Um, some good things we've heard on the Gun Talk is Taurus is looking to import all their production to the states and we're looking and hopefully that's going to happen. We're seeing that with a lot of other manufacturers like H&K that just built their facility in Columbus, so hopefully that's a good thing. Um, we're a big fan of Made of America around here. So great things about this gun. It's been out for a little while, but we feel like there's not a lot of reviews out there, so we wanted to get the review here and see if we can't give you all some great information on it. The basic features of the Taurus TH9 are the adjustable Novak style driftable sights. It does have a coating on top of it that Taurus is done. It's something very similar to the Smith Armonite coating over a stainless. It does have some nice serrations on the back of the slide that make it easier to grab. They are running an all stainless barrel. This is something that you've seen in Taurus before that they're keeping uh, the slim look with the firearm. They have a two position Picatinny rail that can accept any standard Picatinny uh, accessories on it. They have done something different with a takedown. Have you noticed this is a hammer fired gun? It has an ambidextrous safety and an ambidextrous slide release. The ambidextrous safety is also a decocker, so if you take this function and drop the safety down, it decocks the firearm. What you'll notice within a hammer fire gun is the ease of takedown. We drop the mag out of it. It has takedown functions on the side of the frame just like a Glock. So what you'll do is you'll drop the slide down, slightly pull back, lower the takedown prongs, then slide forward and it comes off. Very similar to a Glock. Um, you'll actually see that the recoil spring inside on the guide rod is exactly like a Glock Gen 4. You'll see a lot of sim similarities with this. Inside the gun is very easy to clean. They've made it very accessible to get inside the magazine well. There's not a lot of moving parts for a hammer fire gun. There's a couple of things people are changing out. Some push pins on here that they have plastic from the factory so you can easily change to metal if you're a hardcore shooter and you want to uh, Im improve the gun. One thing that they have done, we'll reassemble it and show you the trigger is a lot different um, than most of your Tauruses that you see out there now. You'll see the notice the trigger is a lot thicker. Um, they did a plastic trigger, which is something new, but they did a heavier plastic. This is probably the most comfortable trigger that I felt on a Taurus firearm from the factory. Single action, this trigger is pulling around five and a half pounds on our guide with virtually no creep. A big improvement for Taurus with their single action is the creep. They have increased the um, functionality of it and when I'm a trigger guy and when you're looking at a trigger with a Taurus in mind, single action, no creep at all. What they have done also is they have done a fingered contour grip here. This is very in detail. It's a lot higher indentation than they put on other guns with a uh, unique texturing style that they have done on the grip. The cool thing about this is like a Glock as well and an H&K, they have put different back straps in this gun. This gun comes with a standard back strap but it has two different ones in the plastic box that it comes in that you can change out very easily. The magazine is a 17 plus one so and it comes with two magazines. The uh, follower on the magazine, they've upgraded the follower in it and they've upgraded the spring tension on it. That was probably one of the first complaints out of the gun was the spring tension in the magazine. So you have changed that so if you leave the magazine loaded for a long period of time, they're having better quality out of their mags. Five and a half pounds on a single action. It is a single action, double action firearm. So either way, your preference is there. Tars is another upgrade with this. It's one of their few hammered fire guns that I like. One of the only ones I like actually and we have sold them really well. The MSRP is $359. Here at the store, we've been selling them for $279 all day long. So if you want a really good deal, come by and see us. The last function on it that I will add is the ambidextrous mag release. Um, so if you are that left-handed or right-handed, Taurus did a great job on making every option on this gun as far as a safety, side release, takedown lever, and magazine release ambidextrous. Coming at 9mm at $279 is a hard gun to beat. Thank you all and you all have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.